Hey, look, if you haven't heard of the Vibe District, you are probably living underneath a rock. This is probably the most up and coming hip Vibe District in all of Virginia Beach for a reason. And people are wanting to move and be close to it because you can walk and bike to the beach. There's a local coffee shop, there's local fairs, there's even a local farmer's market. So if you're curious about how much it would take to live in this area at different price points, we're gonna talk about that right now. So what is the barrier to entry into the Vibe District or within walking distance? By the way, there are two main neighborhoods that kind of sandwich this on either side. You have one to the north, which is called the Beach Borough, and to the south, you have the Chatelon District. And then the Vibe District is nicely tucked in between there. They also have uh, Cars and Coffee, which is hosted at the Conference Center to the west. If you come to the area and you're looking for a place to come have some coffee and see a whole bunch of cool cars. So let's tackle the first one here. All right, first up is a two bedroom, one and a half bath condo, just under 800 square feet. Let's look at what this looks like. This is a very normal looking condo or townhome in this area, brick front, shared walls. Looks like there's a decent amount of open space here on the bottom floor. I really like the flooring that they've selected here. If I was gonna live in a condo down near the beach, I would either do a really nice hardwood that's going to actually stand the test of time with all that sand going in and out. So I would go probably more with like a luxury vinyl plank, something that's gonna be super durable. It'll still look like wood and it'll stand the test of time being right next to the beach. Now, under 800 square feet is not a huge place. You can kind of see this in the photos. It's a little tight inside. But you know, if you're looking at maybe a couple or it's yourself and maybe a, a fur baby, this could be plenty of space. The kitchen is what I would say semi-updated. The cabinets are obviously original that have been painted. They've added a backsplash and some granite countertops with stainless steel appliances. Um, and it looks like they've maybe put some LVP into the kitchen. Add some uh, hardware to these cabinets and you've got a nice little touch. And this is a great little place. At $180,000 though, like I don't know if you can get much of a better deal being in this area. Now that is by far going to be the lowest barrier to entry because you immediately jump up into the threes and fours in this area. Um, condos, townhomes, or what are called no fee condos where you're sharing one wall. The builder has eff effectively gone in and tried to squeeze in as much livable space on the smallest possible lot. And this is what kind of what we're looking at here. So at three bedrooms, three and a half baths, and Eh, just under 1,700 square feet. This sold not that long ago, about a month ago at $460,000. Let's take a look at what that gets you. All right, so this entry photo here is exactly what I'm talking about. This is newer construction. It looks pretty good. You have three stories here, effectively an entryway with a garage down at the very bottom. You can see this little alleyway that you can drive down and you're sharing one wall with the neighbor. And it looks like there's one right across on the, the lot next door. So lots of stairs if you're creeping up there in age and or your knees are bothering you like uh old man dan here who dislocated his knee last year um you may need to avoid this one and wait till the next one uh, but i take a look inside and this is exactly what i would expect something that's decently upkept a bunch of neutral colors for the walls and carpet. You're probably not going to see a ton of really nice high-end fixtures here. You're paying for the location. The Vibe District is extremely desirable. The only thing I would say downside of the area is the jet noise that happens here. But to be within like biking, walking distance to the beach and everything that comes with the Vibe District is amazing. And you're just gonna have to make compromises at this price point. Kitchen is about what you'd expect. Some builder grade cabinets, stainless steel appliances, a nice little island there with some granite on top. Probably uh, a Home Depot special if I had to guess. Those look like engineered hardwood floors to me. It might be a high end laminate, um, but there's really nothing all that special about this kitchen. It's nice, it's not exceptional, um, but if you wanna be in this area. Now, here's a little touch I actually really like. The open floor plan on the second floor, you can kind of see here, they have built-ins with a gas fireplace. This would be a great area to do hosting. Um, yep, I'm a big fan of these built-ins. Whoever their photographer is could have done a better job, but I'm just gonna leave that alone. You know me, I'm picky with that stuff. All right, primary suite. You got a tray ceiling there with one layer. Uh, that does look like maybe a king size bed, maybe a queen, I can't really tell, but there's room on either side. So if you needed to expand to a king, it looks like there's room to do that. Plenty of light, natural light coming in through those windows. Nice big closet. 
primary suite or primary bathroom. It looks like they've only got, oh, let me go back there. Nope, it looks like you have a shower too. Tile on the outsides, fiberglass on the bottom tray. Again, nothing crazy nice here, but it is uh, at this price point, that's about what you're gonna expect. I'm pretty sure this sold within a few days um, and that doesn't surprise me in the least. Now their garage is actually set up really nice. They have a, a couch in there, uh, but really well um, organized storage. It looks like they are a biking family. What do they have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe nine bikes in there. Goodness gracious. Got the solo stove in the backyard. I love those. I have one myself. And that's what you get for $460,000. Let's keep going up in price point. All right, let's bump it on up to 615,000, 2302 Mediterranean Ave, three bedrooms, three and a half baths, 1,743 square feet. Let's look at what that gets you. All right, a little more architecturally driven. You're not sharing a wall, so you've got a single family. Uh, it looks like they have decided to do the entire lot in gravel because they don't want to do lawn maintenance. Uh, I do like the different textures on the outside, colors, touches, kind of adds some variability to the outside. Sean is shaking his head, he doesn't like it. Uh, you do have a double driveway here, so you don't have to worry about street parking. It looks like hardwood floors on the first floor there, and then you go into the kitchen. And that is a really weird setup there on the flooring on the kitchen. I'm not even sure what that is or how it, that's kind of like, it might be real hardwood that is just layered differently or laid out differently. Big fan of the subway tile. Those look like updated cabinets with some granite uh, countertops. I am not a fan of glass top electric ranges. They are super easy to clean, but gas cooking all day long. But the uh, the bathrooms and kind of the bedrooms are a little bit more updated. You do have, uh, it looks like the washer and dryer and hot water heater are in the garage. Little batten board into the bathroom there with some updated vanities. Hardwood floors on the second floor as well, maybe the third floor. That does either look like a teak or maybe a synthetic decking up there on the second floor. That's a really nice touch. It's nice to have a little spot to hang out. Doesn't, yeah, Sean was just saying behind the camera that it's a 1950s home. I should have seen that before he did since he's not in real estate and I am. Um, but that's probably why you have the hardwood floors that you do have and it looks really nicely Nicefully, nicely, nicely updated. Nice, nicely updated. Third floor looks like it's probably a flex space. Nice and open, got a ceiling fan up there. It looks like their own little bathroom, little shower stall, nothing fancy, closet space. Outside, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I think the outside is kind of crap. I mean, it looks good, but the lawn and like outside hangout space, just not impressed. All right, now moving on up. We got a place on the water, 609 Arctic Avenue, $955,000, so just a hair under a mil. Four bedrooms, three and a half baths, and 3,600 square feet. So if you need room for a family or a full vacation home, this could be a great option with a amazing view. And I can't wait to show you one special feature on this place. Let's check this out. Boom, first photo, you see it right there. Edge, infinity pool, on the water that is some dope right there now the waterfront is what's on called lake holly it is not uh water that you want to be or even can throw a boat into you probably could do just fine on a paddle board or a kayak uh, but you're not really going to have access to dropping a boat in the water and going out to the ocean however this view is super super awesome you have all this outside deck space and entertainment room um, super cool spiral staircase. I, I just really like a lot about this. Man, I, I really like how this is set up. Tons of natural light coming in. I do like on the first floor that they have this huge kind of pad covered patio area. So that's not like a whole bunch of direct light and you get bl you know, blinded by that. Um, but with those huge doors set up so that you can actually have two doors and then um, that might actually open up all the way. I'm, I'm curious if it does. Uh, but at least you'd be able to open up both sides and you get all this natural light without it actually being direct light. I think that's a really sweet architectural touch there. I mean, just look at that view. That view right there. Photo number 14 for the editor at home. Um, that is just super cool. If I was going to live in the Vibe District and I had the, the dough to slap down on a place like this, uh, this is exactly what I would do. This stairwell is super cool. Um, I'm imagining as a kid going, you remember those little army guys that with the parachute, Sean, 
know what I'm talking about? Going up to the top and dropping those that are doing the egg drop experiment and pissing off your grandparents because you splattered eggs all at the bottom of the stairs. Lovely, lovely space, nice and open. The kitchen is amazing. I love these big leather chairs surrounding the fireplace and the built-ins, deck space and windows all the way around, lots and lots of natural light. You have kind of a butler's pantry with some wine storage there. This looks like a concrete table that they have in there. I, I really like that touch. I think design-wise, it just looks awesome. And this kitchen is amazing. Look how open that is with the like sit-up bar and then you have a gas grill top and there in the center island. Subway tile, good pictures, good colors. Well done, well done, thumbs up. Pinion lights, I mean, come on. Whoever did this, chef's kiss. The primary suite is enormous. Look at the size of that fan, that is super cool. King size bed, again, with what, one, two, three, four, five, six windows with two doors going out to their own patio. Primary suite has tile all the way around, plus a jetted tub and an overhead rain shower. That is awesome. And that is what you get when you drop nearly a million dollars in Shadowlon. Sean, hit him with that new outro music.